AITA for telling my parents that they ruined New York celebration after they kicked my husband out over a joke? I've been married to my second husband, Mike, for four years now. He's a jokester and loves to crack jokes all the time. He especially liked to joke with my brother, Ethan, and his wife. Ethan used to be okay with it till he started complaining about Mike taking it too far with his jokes. Some context about Ethan. He and his wife couldn't have kids so they adopted a boy, Joey, two years ago. Mike has been making silly, lighthearted jokes that involving Joey's bio parents as a way to mess with Ethan and his wife. I already talked to Mike and I tell you that he's 100% means no harm and he was just trying to get them to react. So fast forward to NY. My parents hosted a big celebratory dinner and Ethan and his wife came. While we were eating dinner, Mike decided to tell a knock-knock joke to Ethan. He said, knock-knock. Ethan laughed and said, who's there? Mike replied, Joey's bio parents, then he bursted out laughing. Silence took over and Ethan's facial expressions changed. His wife called Mike an idiot, to which Mike replied with, hey, relax, it was just a joke. An argument ensued and dinner was paused. My parents suddenly told Mick to leave, which I thought was too harsh. I tried to speak to them and get them to calm down, but mom insisted that Mike leave. We left and Mike was complaining the whole time about how they overreacted. I called mom later and she told me Mike was out of line with his hurtful jokes about this touchy topic and told me I was wrong for defending him and saying he was just joking. She said he ruined New York for the family, but I told her it was her and dad who ruined New York celebration for escalating the situation and kicking him out. I told her he could talk to them, but again, they were the ones who ruined New York celebration. She called me delusional for this statement and hung up. Ita. Your husband likes to hurt people. It's nothing to do with jokes. Your husband likes to hurt people. Wish I had an award to give you for this. Hey, it's just a joke is not a get out from everything. No one is obliged to find something funny just because you do and to insist that they should is bullying. No more, no less. Mike's jokes are unpleasant and not remotely funny. And I speak as someone with a very sick sense of humor indeed. He's an AH and OP is another one for enabling him. They teach this at school and work regarding harassment, bullying, sexual harassment, and the like. Husband knows this and doesn't care. He is mean, he is a bully, and he is not funny. Without all of those things, he has been asked to stop and still bulldozes and does what he wants. I'm so glad Opie's parents kicked him out. If I were the parents, I'd have kicked both out. They were well aware it wasn't okay, and they've continued still. Opie is an enabler at bare minimum, and Hubby is a bully. He's been asked, over and over to stop, that they make BIL uncomfortable. But does he stop? No. Keeps with the shitty jokes. It's just not funny. Opie is A.H. and her husband. She shouldn't be defending that bullshit. Probably makes little Joey uncomfortable too. Comments like that are so othering. Opie's parents kicked Mike out to protect their grandson, as is correct and proper. They're probably setting firmer boundaries now because Joey's getting to the age where he understands that he's being made fun of. There were definitely running jokes in my family that I loved as a kid, but as an adult I realize were just cruel and mocking. Kids eventually pick up on these things, right? His whole shtick seems to be, her, her, your kid's adopted. Why would anyone think that was funny or a joke? This, the first time he told a bio parent joke, he might have thought it was lighthearted fun. After being told over and over to stop, he's an AH, and his wife is one too for supporting her husband's assholery. Exactly. This might be a closer case if Mike hadn't been told that his jokes were unwelcome. Sometimes you don't realize that something you say is going to hurt someone. And of course you feel terrible about it and never do it again. It's like if you're walking down the hall too fast and bump into someone and hurt them. You didn't mean to, but sometimes it happens. But he knows. The hurt isn't unintentional. It's intentional. This isn't bumping into someone. It's taking a very intentional swing at them. And if someone is taking a swing at someone else in your house, you've got to show them the door. Simple as that. Bingo. Even if it's not your intention to be hurtful or mean or creepy, if that's how it made your victim feel, it's harassment. Basics of any workplace harassment course. OP's family has repeatedly said his jokes and not welcome but he continues to make them, even after knowing they are hurtful. So it would be fair to say that he cracks them fully intending to hurt. This is not a case of, oops, sorry I didn't realize this joke would hurt you. 
OP's mom is right. She is delusional if she thinks anyone other than her husband ruined New York. And she is definitely an AH for enabling and supporting a bully. It's just a joke is a cloaking mechanism so an asshole can do asshole things. I have a pretty dry sense of humor that isn't everyone's cup of tea. I learned years ago to read the damn room. If everyone doesn't laugh, the joke didn't land, and you move the hell on. Unless you're an AH who's just trying to be an AH. I tried contacting Ethan, but no response, because this was the last straw. If someone was using one of my children as a source for humor, especially an adult who should know better, that would be the last time they interacted with my family. End of. Also, I'm assuming the child may have been there, and this is pretty disturbing if he was. YTA from a parent of two adopted boys with serious trauma who even at two or three could pick up on this kind of joke being negative about them. Plus, it doesn't say how old their son is. If he's not an infant, these jokes are cruel and could really affect him. Well, he's two at the very least since he was adopted two years ago. So I'm oh far too old for someone to dare telling jokes like that. That also means they've endured two years of Mike's asshole comments about their kid. I would have snapped and banned that jerk from everything at least 18 months ago in their shoes. He 100% means no harm, and he was just trying to get them to react. The reaction is hurt. That's the reaction he's trying to get, hurt. If it's not hurt, it's frustration or annoyance. It's shitty to purposefully make people feel hurt, frustration, or annoyance for your own amusement. Toying with people's emotions is harmful. Dinkop. Aitea. Opis blind. Whether he means harm or not, and I think he does, personally, if he cared at all about his BIL, he would have stopped as soon as he saw that his jokes were causing harm. OP, please stop excusing his terrible behavior before you alienate everyone else in your life because he isn't a jokester. He's an AH. And so are you as long as you back him up. Whether he means harm or not, and I think he does, personally. I honestly can't see an argument that it wasn't intended to be mean. I mean, boiled down to the essence, this is the joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Goyas bioperants. What, exactly, is the punchline supposed to mean, and why is it funny? Seems to me it's your kid is not biologically yours. Why is that supposed to be funny? To me it says, your child's bio parents are going to come back and take Joey away. I, like the majority of people here, can't see the humor in this. He's the only one laughing and claiming their jokes, and he might genuinely even think so, because he lacks the empathy necessary to understand anything beyond his own pleasurable feelings, and as he actively enjoys other people's suffering and discomfort. Bully mentality. I find it very concerning, as well as OP's enabling. They're okay with it now because the jokes are aimed at other people, but this won't last forever. I've learned from this forum, it's great to make the jokester explain their jokes. Why is it funny that the bio parents are at the door? Oh, because they might be trying to take their kid back and ruin our family? That it might cause psychological damage to us and our adopted child? Explain to me again how that's funny. Mike ruined the celebration. Wow, ick if I've read such an out-of-touch post on AIT ever. Ita. And so is your husband. Mike has been making silly, light-hearted jokes that involving Joey's bio parents as a way to mess with Ethan and his wife. What the actual fudge? That is terrible. Teasing an infertile couple about their adopted child's bio parents? I am mortified. Edited to add, I am super freaking proud of your parents. Finnish people have a word for when someone else does stuff, but you are the one ashamed for it. Germany has one as well. Frimsham. Eyeita. Sorry, but your Mike is an asshole. Not uncommon for the jokester S who love to crack jokes to mess with people. Fuck that. It's not in good spirit. It's one-sided, bullying, and just disgusting. It's not lighthearted or silly. It's just mean. The sentence, relax, it was just a joke, is horrible. Your Mike hides behind this excuse to be an asshole and a bully to people, to push their buttons to be mean and then retreat when they get upset by calling it all a joke. You are enabling and supporting that, which makes you know better. Exactly. OP, you say you talk to Mike and he 100% means no harm and he was just trying to get them to react. But can't you understand how those two things are mutually exclusive? The reaction he's looking for is the response of people who are hurt. He is intentionally hurting your brother and his wife for his own amusement. Mike's clearly an AH. 
and if you can't see that then you're an AH too. YTA no one likes your husband. He's not funny. His jokes aren't cute. No one thinks he's clever or amusing. He does mean harm otherwise why would he keep pick, pick, picking at this very sensitive subject? Your husband is a bully. You're enabling your husband to bully your relatives. OP this. Get therapy. Eat the. Your husband is an asshole, and you are enabling him. Making jokes to try to get people to react after they asked you not to is bullying and harassing, not lighthearted jokes. Your parents didn't overreact, they kicked out a disgusting bully, or they were just joking, OP and you are overreacting over a harmless prank KK. People like Mike are exhausting to be around, and they usually don't have any actual friends, just people who are stuck with their company. Eat the. What if someone took your greatest insecurity and poked at it? Over and over and over and over again. Like some shitty, hurtful Groundhog Day. And when you said something about it, they would tell you, Well, calm down, it's a joke? Would you like that? I don't think so. Your husband is nothing more than a cruel, mean bully. And you are his enabler. Also, Mike isn't just hurting the parents. He is hurting the kid as well, and that makes it even worse. Eat the. Hey. Relax, it was just a joke. Ah, yes, the battle cry of the asshole. Your husband is an asshole. An incredibly unfunny asshole. It's actually staggering to me that this is a grown adult. Eat the. You are enabling this shite, and you're going to lose a hell of a lot of relationships if you keep doing it. Your father and his wife had already expressed their discomfort at your husband's jokes. They're not jokes, by the way. Your husband is a childish bully, and yet he continued. Clearly your parents have reached their limit, and they had every right to kick your husband and you out of their home. You both ruin New Year's, not your parents, not your brother. You and your shitty immature bully of a husband. You and Mike are TA when you're told a joke isn't funny then stop. Also it's not a joke if you're trying to get them to react. The only reaction to a joke is laughter. Mike us baiting them and trying to upset them. Making jokes about an adopted child is not funny. Your TA for enabling your AH husband. He 100% means harm, and he's even said so. He's just trying to get them to react. What reaction does he want? Your parents were within their rights to ask Mike to leave. His mean spiritedness ruined the occasion, and you both owe your parents and Ethan apologies. These are not silly, lighthearted jokes. These are mean, cruel, vicious stabs under the guise of jokes. Eat the. I don't give two fucks that Mike doesn't mean any harm. He says shitty things under the guise of jokes. Why the fuck do you, and he think it's acceptable to make jokes about the biological parents coming back for your brother's son? Are your brains broken? Is the sex with Mike so good you're willing to throw out all human decency? Mike needs to grow the fuck up, and you along with him. He's the one that ruined New York with his immaturity. Eat the. I read shit like this and don't understand how you don't understand that white DA. Info. Which part of this joke am I supposed to be laughing at? The part that mocks Ethan for not being able to have kids of his own? The part which if your nephew heard may terrify him thinking that he may get taken away by his bio parents from the family he is feeling safe and secure at? I really need you to explain as I am obviously not as good at humor as your husband, so need you to explain it so I can understand and laugh with you both because at the moment I am not understanding the joke. YTA, and so is your husband. His jokes aren't funny at all, and extremely insensitive and tactless. Your parents weren't harsh enough because I'd stop letting your husband come around at all, especially because he's been asked before to stop making such comments slash jokes, and yet he continues to do so. YTA, and so is your husband. This isn't a joke. I'm not sure if you're being blind or stupid here. Because your husband is super obviously saying childish and hurtful things on purpose, not to make people laugh, but to make them react and you're acting like it's everyone else's problem for being offended. Girl, my BF jokes a lot. Sometimes he makes awful jokes which are mean, which is where it's my job as his GF to tell him he's being rude. Not everything can be joked about, and definitely not a subject like this. Sorry, but if you're having to do this then your BF is also an AH. It shouldn't be your job to monitor his behavior. Damn, I hope you can see this is, it's truly as bad as the OP situation. Eat the. What's the joke? There's no witty punchline. The joke in and of itself is just to be mean. You aren't the kid's real parents, har har. Like, WDF is the joke there? If you had been essayed and someone said, 
Knock, knock. Guess who's here? You're our asterisk PISD. Ha ha ha. It's the same joke, and still not funny. The joke is, I hurt you and that's funny to me. He's not a jokester, he's a sadist. Eat the. But hey I am just joking. Wait no I am not. Joke stop when the other party tells you. They did. You and your husband continued. By just saying it was just a joke, you are as much in the wrong as your husband. Happy New Year's. Eat the. It doesn't matter if he means to do any harm as long as he hurts people. They've communicated that this isn't a joking matter for them. That should be enough. Even if this was something that could very easily be funny to other people. For the record though, being obsessed with bringing up bio parents sets the message that adoptive parents aren't the real parents. So nah, I don't even see the joke here. Eat the. Jokes that people don't find funny are not jokes. Ethan has made it clear that he does not like it being joked about yet your husband has continued to, and you have enabled his behavior. You and your husband need to go asking for forgiveness, and he needs to learn that not everyone wants him to make his jokes. If you continue like Tanai's, then you will become estranged from your family. From the way you have written your post I think it is clear deep down you know your husband is the problem. You need to address this with him and get him to stop being such an idiot and abusive to other people.